Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO City Fireboat. This is a new set for 2016. It is, um, <clears throat> I believe it's 2016. I struggle to find where they put the dates on, on these nowadays, but if it's not 2016, it's late 2015. But either way, it's a newer set, so um, big boat, that's a big molded piece and then we have all the accessory stuff to add to it so what do you say we start building huh open that up so the boat elements should be loose in the box yep there it is it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be So let me adjust this camera real quick. All right, so here's the big boat element. It even has this piece that's kind of fallen off of it. We have a big loose plate, smaller loose plate. We have a bag of instructions and inside the bag is a sticker sheet, two instruction books, and we have numbered bags, bags one, two, three, and four. Move those to the side because we're going to start with bag number one. Four hundred twelve pieces in this set, and I do believe that they are mostly all large elements because there's a lot of bags. I guess there'd be about a hundred pieces per bag if it's four bags. Bags with small elements. Alright, have all that done. So we have a couple minifigures. One is the I guess lighthouse employee. This is the guy that his lighthouse is on fire and he doesn't know what to do, so he's just standing there waiting to get rescued. And now we have the Diver guy, the fire rescue person for the water. He has a cool breathing apparatus with the air tank and some diving goggles and some black. Flippers. So that's that minifigure. Move both of them to the side. We have a couple flames. So this is what the firefighters are coming to put out. These flames. They're just uh, attached to the holes through that stud and the disc. Put that off to the side. Now we have a little rescue raft. light on the front and gets a few stickers gets sticker number seven and these stickers go on the front top of the raft area on both sides okay 
set for the raft. Now we're going to build the, the lighthouse area that's going to be on fire. So this is kind of the accessory building to the main fireboat. So the set is called fireboat, but there's no point of having a fireboat if there's nothing to, no fire to put out. So that's why we're building this. area. Fairly simple instructions to follow. I find that the Lego City sets are some of the easiest instructions to follow. They really simplify the each step. All right, so we have a sticker on the inside of this panel. So it's a little picture of the day that they caught the big one. There it is. I have a standard Lego issued city coffee mug and a bottle of some sort. Now we have some bricks with studs on the side, along with a brown window frame. So we'll build these up all the way to the top, just like that. jumper plates. And that whole panel attaches right there. Bluish gray door frame with a money green door, black door handle. That goes there. Now we're going to make a lamp, looks like a light fixture of some sort. That goes there. <coughs> life preserver because so we are next to the water so we need safety that rooftop sloped rooftop piece with this cool shingle sticker that goes right there that's actually a really nice sticker I like that and this will there. That looks nice. Nice little waterside hut. Now we're going to begin the tower element, which will be built up with some large panels and some big round bricks so it'll 
be directed pretty quickly. They do one of these panels per step. So I'm thumbing through these instructions real quick because there's only one piece per step. We have a red striped white. Another red. Round plate at the top. Round top or round plate. Two round bricks. Surround it some with some rock panels and that sloped brick will just hold it all together. And that completes bag one. So we got our our fire that you can just kind of put around here wherever you want something to be on fire. Alright, so let's not play with it now. We got time to play with that later. Let's move on to bag number two and instruction book number two. There's actually three instruction books, but instruction book two and three is mostly the boat. Or it is the boat. There's nothing else left. It's all boats from here. All right. There's the minifigures that we're going to install first. Or assemble, not install. Okay. Two of them. Let's see, are they legs the same? Yes. Torsos are the same. Yes. So we'll assemble those. Now here's where the differences come in. It's really the the heads are the only thing different. So we have a female face. She has her fireman's helmet on. And the other one is a male version, which I'm looking for the life preserver. There it is. So they both wear life jackets. And this is the male version. So there's our two minifigures for bag number two. So we're going to bring this boat over and um, I need to snap this on. I don't know if it came unsnapped in transit or what, but there we go. Just kind of snaps on like that. And this is a solid piece. This boat really will float if you uh, put it in a body of water. So I imagine it'd be fun to play with in a bathtub or a swimming pool or some other something or another. Okay, so we've got some badging stickers on the side. Another one that goes here. In case we didn't know this was a fire boat, we're gonna make sure it's stickered up so we know it is. And the 6109, that's the set number. It's also the number on the boat. Good. Now, I'm going to begin putting pieces on. 
this main boat piece. extinguishers. This is the typical Lego City detail for a, a fire extinguisher. I have a 2x2 two two jumper with a control knob at the top. Now we have two of these, what I like to call like trailer elements. Because normally you would put a little toe ball piece at the end and make this into a trailer, but we're going to use it for something else. This set, let's both go there. So we have these pneumatic tees with the little axle holder. We're going to put a ball joint piece with a axle on it. And we have these cool new um, stud launchers with a ball joint receptacle on it. And then this minifigure handle bar type thing. And on that bar, we're gonna put one of these bionicle fingers and attach that right here in the middle. So that's your on-boat, um, I guess, uh, water nozzle launcher thing. Have a couple lights. <coughs> some sort. Got some more safety lights. Stretcher. And this is going to go in here. Now we're going to make a little kitchen area for inside the boat. stove area, we have our coffee mug, this is 
a first aid kit. It has a sticker on it. But that sticker is, you can see it has that little star emblem that represents first aid. And this goes inside the boat all the way back here. these little clip elements and we're going to make another couple water nozzle pieces. These are going to be slightly different. They're not going to have the stud launcher element and they're going to have the water already spewing out of them like that. So they rotate up and down and side to side. stud that goes inside of the, the fire extinguished launcher thing. All right, so let's move on to bag number three. Another bag of large elements with a small bag of the smaller elements. So this also begins instruction book number three. So get these over so we can bring the boat back over here. This big 16 by 16 plate that was loose in the box now gets put on here and you can see a color variation. I don't know if you can see it as well as I can, but the main molded piece that's part of the boat is a little bit darker gray than this plate, which I don't know if that really matters once we start covering it up, but I can definitely see a, a variation of color there. safety lights or emergency lights. Have some levers here for something.
these are the two by three tiles where they clip on the end. Some one by one bricks with horizontal clips. Put ladders on these two horizontal clips. And we have this trans light blue windscreen. Some more emergency lights. These are all just kind of scattered throughout. So we have a walkie talkie that goes back here on this clip. We have a wrench, clips on here, a axe right there. life preservers on these little bar elements and some more emergency lights safety railings so people don't fall overboard and that completes bag number three so we are on to our fourth and final bag Move some of these spare elements over <clears throat> Bag number four seems to have the most amount of parts. All right, we have a minifigure. This looks like the fire chief or the captain of the boat. Someone of some sort of perceived power. So there's that guy. That's five minifigures for this set. So we get to take this plate that was loose in the box. And again, building onto this. So where it looks like there's a lot of elements in bag four, I'm getting to look at them a little more closely and realizing they're just all large elements. It's like this large sloped panel. You know, we have this large plate. 
and we're gonna quickly add these to the model and you'll see there's really not that many pieces left after we get through these. Edge plate, there it is. We have this sloped brick there. Some chamfered corner bricks. A couple bricks with clips, a couple more chamfered corner bricks. Have some loud hailers on these clips. We have some navigation equipment. These are printed sloped bricks that have those navigation readouts and controls on there. These corner plates help lock everything in. We have dual steering wheels with a printed gauge panel. screen frame that we insert the glass panel. It's a large molded panel and that easily clips in there. Goes there. And we have two more and these go on the sides. That's in there. It didn't make a clip sound but it went in. I heard it at that time. I heard it on one, but not the other. Alright, a couple more of the 1x2x2 one by two by two bricks. Tile all the way across. Modified tile with studs. Some emergency lights. Horns. Mostly done. Now we're going to create the roof for the cabin. Stick 
sticker. 6109. Right there on the front. Couple tiles. Couple antennas. There are levers that are being used as antennas. We have a communication sail up here with some navigation lights. That attaches there. at the top and bring the boat over and that all attaches there okay next we have the boom arm that the uh, fire extinguishing piece can attach to. This turntable brick will attach in there. Now we have this molded frame element. stickers for each side or one for each side we have this Technic lift arm that goes right in there and we have another one of these nozzle pieces that has the, uh, the flick fire stud launcher element on there. And then on the end, what we can do is add another water piece, like water shooting out of there. And down here we'll add a couple of these click hinge pieces, which will then insert into these Technic pinholes, just like that. And that creates the, the boom piece of it. So, let's zoom out a bit so we can see everything. We've used all of our stickers. We have gotten to the end, and that is it for the fire boat. So we have this cool large boat. We have a uh, raft. So a rescue raft. And then we have the lighthouse area that is on fire. This guy that needs to be saved. Or something like that. That's kind of how the, the, the story goes, I guess. So, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos. Make sure to subscribe, and we will see you next time.